Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and of course another what I eat in a day. Thank you so much for taking the time to log on and join me for a fantastic day of food. I can promise you that I have some real wonderful treats coming your way today in the form of, so let's get breakfast out of the way first. Breakfast was pretty nothing new to be honest. I was expecting a home delivery, um, a shop, um, a food shop and I just wanted to get a coffee, a banana and go about my day. I had some painting to do, some editing, some invoices to send. I was just super busy. So I put some overlays here. I just made myself a coffee, grabbed a banana and had very much a breakfast on the go. But now I thought I would have something a little bit more substantial for lunch. And you may remember my last vlog, which was the Chester vlog, if that's gone live. I had a gorgeous breakfast in a cafe and it really reignited my love for brunch and for English breakfast to be quite honest and I really fancied it today partly because I had such a small breakfast and partly because I have some stuff in the fridge that needs eating so we're going to be having a English breakfast brunch kind of situation for lunch today bacon sausage egg mushroom tomatoes beans the works I'm very excited about that and then tonight I'm making homemade meatballs which is one of my favorite things so easy ideal for children families batch cooking or just a meal for one and you can we're all loads away in the freezer for a rainy day. They're going to be so flavorful, made completely from scratch. And honestly, with, once you've tasted my meatballs with pasta sauce, you will not go back. So we're having that with spaghetti, garlic bread, cheese. It's going to be a wonderful one, guys. I hope you all enjoy it. So that is the plan. I will link everything throughout the home that you might be interested in, my cast irons, cups, spoons, everything that you guys normally ask about, along with what I'm wearing. Today I'm wearing my three people Henley top, my three people vest new look combat it's very very comfortable and again makeup is very very minimal because i'm at home so yeah let's get started give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it subscribe if you're new and let's get cooking pretty sure i don't have to tell you guys how to make a breakfast but what i thought i would do is go through the point values of things with you just so you can track as accurately as possible it's worth noting again i'm on maintenance so if you find me not being strict not tracking butter oil things like that it's because i'm i'm on maintenance and i'm not being as strict but for point value wise, I have some bacon here. This is the Aldi unsmoked bat bacon. And I'm hoping that this will pick up on camera because when I opened it, I wrecked the barcode. So hopefully it will still read it. If not, I kind of know because I had this quite frequently that it's two points. Yeah, so two points for that. So I'm going to get that tracked. Um, okay. And then next we have some sausages. These are Sainsbury's Cumberland sausages. Again, really delicious. I'm only going to have one of those. So let's just pick that barcode up. Okay, they're four points for one. So again, I'm going to track that, which is perfectly reasonable. Eggs are zero heroes. Obviously, mushroom is free. Tomato is free. And the last thing I need to factor in right this moment in time are my beans. I'm not even quite sure how much of these I'm having. There's no barcode in that, so let me just type it in. Next thing I want to factor in is my baked beans. And these are two points for two tablespoons, which sounds about right. That's what I'm definitely going to have. Um, two nice heaped tablespoons of that. And then I'm going to make myself one slice of this tiger bloomer because honestly, I cannot have a full English without having some form of toast. <laughs> You up in boom, 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 boosh, boom, boom. Tell me I'm the only one that you know. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. Oh my goodness, how delicious does this look? This is going to fill me up so, so much. So, I have not pointed my orange juice. I did show you on the screen what this amounts to, but again, I'm on maintenance. Um, and also, my bread was one point, so it's actually a nine-point breakfast. Very excited to eat it. Really delicious, fantastic one for weekends, or if you have guests staying over for the weekend and you want to have 
a treat but also remain on plan. It's really easy to do. So yeah, hope you enjoy it. My mouth is watering just looking at it, so I'm going to go and enjoy. That was worth every single point. Lunch was delicious and now I thought I would prep my meatballs because ideally these are going to sit in the fridge at least an hour or so before cooking them. It just helps them to firm up and everything like that. So in my bowl here I have a kilogram of mince. So you could half this. I'm doing enough batches to put some in the freezer as well. But I have half beef steak mince and half pork. You can use either or. It's completely optional. Obviously if you were to use complete pork it would be far less but um, I think this combination works very very well and traditionally pork and beef mince um, go very very well together in most Italian dishes. So what I'm going to do first is going to set this aside and I'm going to work on some extras and with my processor already plugged in I'm going to be adding Four shallots, um, you can cut these, slice them, put them straight in, but I find a processor works best, especially if you want them really fine. Three decent sized cloves of garlic, some salt and pepper, of course, paprika. You can use regular or smoked, it's completely up to you, but I think adding smoked adds a nice depth of flavour. And we're also going to need some breadcrumbs and we're going to need some olive oil as well. But the first thing we're going to do is to make about 50 to 100 grams worth of breadcrumbs. I'm using this tiger loaf that I used earlier today and I'm just going to put this up until it's made a really fine crumb. Pulse that. You want to get them super, super fine as well if you can. I blitz those off my processor and I have 50 grams here exactly, which is perfect. If I feel I need to add more, I'm going to, but I don't want them to be too stodgy, so I'm going to add 50 grams, but feel free to add more if you think it's necessary. And now I'm going to get on chopping my shallots and my garlic and then put them in the processor so they can completely mince up uh, because I think that would be better for the kids if they don't have chunks of onion in their meatball. Cloves of garlic are going straight in along with some parsley that I'm going to give a rinse. And I'm going to blitz away. The components have been added now. Two egg yolks, the greens and onion and shallot that we put in the processor and some additional extras, Dijon mustard, two egg yolks for binding, salt and pepper and of course the meat and breadcrumbs. So all I'm going to do now is work this together into my hand and make little meatballs out of it and it is literally as easy as that. If it's a rainy day and it's the school holidays, get the kids involved, they will love doing this. So again, I find the best way to do this is just to get straight in with your hands. You can really feel it when it comes together. It's so much easier than using a spoon. It's so much quicker as well. And again, little ones will absolutely love this. Just make sure that you clean it and disinfect their hands thoroughly afterwards with it being raw meat. But honestly, so simple and really satisfying. And honestly, you will not buy meatballs again, like because these are so easy to do. Um, again, a little bit of prep in advance, but nothing, nothing too major. And again, you can see how the mixture is coming together really quickly to form um, a really lovely mixture. And again, you want to make these about golf ball sizes. Um, but again, you can freestyle it. If you want mega massive ones, you could do it. If you wanted to make a big meatloaf in a tray, you could do that as well. Got a big tray here. And again, I'm just going to get little mounds of it out. And my hands are wet, so it is easier to shape these um, if you have slightly wetter hands. It just makes them a little bit more cooperative. But there you go, the first meatball is done. And honestly, guys, it's so easy um, and they taste absolutely delicious. So I really do recommend that you give these a try. You are going to get some that are bigger than others, but that's absolutely fine. Just eyeball it. You could weigh it out if you really wanted to be particular about things. But I think it's quite charming having some of them that are slightly bigger and smaller than others because people have slightly bigger appetites than others. So that's how I get away with it when I've done them slightly off, off balance. On my mind, da, 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 da. if you do what I want you to, baby, we be so far. Oh, life in a thing, baby. If I could take you up in pain, boom, 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 tell me I'm the only one that you know. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. And it's as easy as that, guys. So I have a huge portion here 
that I'm going to be making tonight and I'm going to be doing again some batch cooking in the sauce and then I have a few to go into the freezer that I'm I've just popped in the Tupperware box so they'll go in the freezer and sit happily but these need to chill in the fridge until I'm ready to cook them so I'm literally going to pop them in the bottom of the fridge making sure that they don't touch anything else and then I'll get them out later when I'm ready to fry them up but I mean how cute are they they are so adorable as well and dinky but they're actually really filling so i really hope you guys decide to try these so the heating has switched on automatically which means i better get ready to go and get layla the jogging bottoms are on i'm nice and comfy and now i have to head out in the awful weather and get layla but such is life it's great that the meatballs are in the fridge, all of the prep has been done. So all I have to do when I get back after my coffee is to whip up a sauce, like a tomato and basil sauce, which is super easy to do. And again, really flavorful. I don't really have jarred sauces or anything like that when I can help it. So this is gonna be a fantastic one for you guys to have in your arsenal so that you can make it for a combination of different things. That's great. So we'll get on with making that when I get in. And I might have an afternoon treat actually because I haven't had chocolate in about three or four days. Um, so I definitely am due some for sure. Um, but I'll see what I fancy when I get in. I also have some gorgeous grapes so I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'll see what I fancy. But for now, I'm going to head out, get Layla, have a coffee, make dinner and it's going to be delicious. Da, 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 da. If you do what I want you to, baby, we be so far is ready i'm just using one of my regular nest cafe sachets i will link them down below because they always buy them in bulk and now i'm gonna have a bit of dairy milk with white chocolate there isn't that much here there is three chunks um but the kids and i are gonna have a chunk each which i would have eaten the whole thing but they want some which is absolutely fine because we're gonna be having dinner soon so i'm not even gonna bother to track this so yeah i'm gonna have a chunk of this to keep me going and some grapes as well if i could take you up in I've whipped up a very simple tomato and basil sauce, mainly using passata, water, um, onion, garlic, nothing too special. I will link it down below everything that I've used, but this is all now boiling together and I've left it with the lid on for quite a while now. So I'm just going to let it sit and reduce for a couple more minutes and then it'll be ready to serve with pasta. But it smells absolutely incredible and again, such an easy midweek supper, but again, perfect for batch cooking, meal planning, or if you're planning. A big family dinner. This is just a Now every time I look at you, something is on my mind. do what I want you to. Baby, we be so far. Oh, If I could take you up in tell me I'm the only one that you love. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. guys we've come to the end of another what i eat in a day i hope you enjoyed it that pasta was actually one of my favorite things that i've made in a long time i feel like it's because i don't have pasta that often but those meatballs were so flavorful so delicious again so ideal for batch cooking meal planning cooking for a lot of people or just if you want to kit out the freezer for yourself you know get in from a cold day at work you can definitely indulge in a really lovely supper so i'm going to put my recipe in the description box down below because it's super simple and also don't forget to check out the links clothing things around the home that kind of thing um and also i have four to roll over today which is insane considering I've, i'm so so full but that can account for things like my nescafe sachet that i didn't track or 
butter and things like that so it, it will be there somewhere but um yeah it's tomorrow's way day as well so i'm not gonna worry about it too much um because i have a lot of weeklies i needed to get through so it's not that much of a big deal but anyway thank you so much for watching give it a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one